Hey guys, good morning, how are you? Good afternoon already, I don't know. It depends on what time you listen to this audio. Well, um, today guys, I want to talk about um, the importance of never stopping your English studies. And um, I wanted to talk about this because of the video that you guys are about to watch or the video that you already watched. Um, you know, the challenge number one that we did. So basically that's why I want to talk about this today. So never stopping your English studies is gonna be good for you, right? As humans, guys, um, we should never stop learning. And it's something that I read in a book long time ago, and it said something like, if you stop learning, you're gonna start dying. <laughs> it sounds dramatic, right? But um, I think it's true. Learning, for me specifically, it's what keeps my mind active, you know? engaged and curious about the world and um, well I don't think there is another way of learning than practicing you know what you read that's how I learned I think and that's how we learned we read we observe and then we copy correct so pretty much that's what we need to do when it comes to learning English. You know, we need to copy. Becoming bilingual, it's an incredible achievement and we know that, right? I assure you guys that if you become fluently bilingual, this is going to open so many doors for you in your personal and professional life. And it's something that we already know, right? I have told you about this before and you know about this. But, you know, getting to that point of being fluent and speak English, well, fluently, yeah, it requires sacrifice and dedication. And this is what you're doing right now in this challenge, I think. You are sacrificing time, you know? You might be spending time with your family, but you're not. You might be watching a series on Netflix, but you're not. You are putting emphasis on time and dedication on these challenges that we are doing. So, coming back to the sacrifices that you need to do, well, it's part of the process, you know? So I recommend you to practice every day your English by listening stuff, by speaking with somebody. And if you don't have anybody to speak to, speak to yourself. Mm, obviously, right, mentally, because people will think that you are crazy. <laughs> um, you need to practice your reading, your writing skills, you know. And um, you also need to look for opportunities to use your English. <clears throat> you know, we don't have so many opportunities to practice our English in Mexico. So you need to look for those opportunities. How are you gonna do it? Well, it's gonna be your decision. You know? Um, it can be, you know, if you find somebody that speaks English, well, talk to him or talk to her. Make excuse in order for you to get in touch with that person that is speaking English in front of you. Watch TV shows and movies in English. You know, it's something that we have already talked about too. Um, but um, before we continue, I. I want to be very clear, you know that sacrifice is worth it. 
The benefits of being bilingual are endless, guys. Okay? Not only does it make it you more competitive in the job market, but it also allows you to connect with people from all over the world. To travel with peace, you know, because you don't have to be worrying about how do I how do I say this, you know, how do I ask for that, you know. So practicing English is going to boost your confidence for sure, okay? It's going to improve your memory and your abilities also to speak. And even, even when you are not so um, happy with the results that you do, you're gonna learn and you're gonna get something positive from it, okay? So I invite you today that you never stop learning English. Keep pushing yourself to improve, to expand your knowledge, and to discover new things about the world and about yourself. You know? The sky's the limit, guys, and you know, it's gonna be up to you. Okay, so remember, guys, this journey that you guys are doing right now of learning English, it never ends, okay? It will never finish. You will have to continue learning English all your life, all right? There will be always new challenges. There will be always new words to, to learn, you know? Because after, what, 22 years of speaking English, I every day find new words, you know, that I don't know what they meant. And, you know, I, I have a journal of vocabulary because that's what I do. You know, I find a new word and I write it down on my journal. And I, you know, I try to use that word in my future conversation. So that's what you need to do. You know, we're going to be in this um, program for 20 weeks. So I challenge you to get a notebook and make that notebook your vocabulary journal. And every time that you find a new word, write it down. And you don't have to go to a dictionary or something, or you don't have to go to Google and look for the definition, but you can just write down two or three words that will represent the meaning of that word. And that's what we did on challenge number one, right? So continue doing that. It's going to help you. Remember, if you don't write it down, it's going to blow away from your mind. It's not going to stay there. So you have to have control of that. Okay? Um, open your brain, guys. Open your mind. Be dedicated. Dedicated also to this. And um, I'll see you soon. See you later, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.